I should probably cut out a bunch of that random nonsense from last episode. Hey everyone, Team UDF here for more Red Rose Manor. And look, someone's asleep up here. She's the freaking waypoint marker, so I reloaded the save and the ghosts are back. Who are you? Have you come to rescue me from this boring place? I am Tyron. You, know, you do know who I am. Do, do. Lady Aurora de Deville. Not two days, but one day. I'm Lady Aurora de... Oh, the crap! And I am held prisoner here by a crowd of idiotic ghosts who seem to think they are protecting me. It's very weird, actually. I was bitten by a wolf. And then I got so sleepy when I woke up, my parents were gone from this place, and this place was full of dust. My only company is a crowd of overprotective ghosts who refuse to let me leave the house. It's very annoying. This has gone on for months now. I've cleaned up the mess. I've been weaving and spinning yarn. I have kept myself busy baking and cooking. I don't know where all the fresh ingredients come from, but I think the ghosts have brought them into the house. All I know is that I haven't starved. Anyway, I'm alive and well, and although I still sleep a lot, I'm getting utterly bored in this place, and I want to know where my parents are. The dead! Dun dun dun. What? I've been asleep for more than a hundred years, and my parents are dead. By the gods, I am an old spinster. Ah, this is a romance mod, isn't it? You are still young and beautiful, Major's Guild. I am? Well, thank none for that. Maybe it's not still too late for me to get a life. Oh, good. It's not a romance mod. Look, I've spent months here together with the ghosts, and the only thing I want to do is to get out of this place. I don't ever want to see it again. It was once a lovely home, but now... Please, keep it if you wish. Myself, I'm going to start a new life. I always wanted to be an actress and a mod. Of course, my parents objected to such plans, but as they are obviously no longer around, I guess I'm free to do whatever I desire. What a prick you are! And I have enough jewelry to not ever have to worry about money. Yeah, prick. Now, if only I could get past those ghosts. What? The ghosts are dead. Are you trying to be funny? They're ghosts. Of course they are dead. Wait, you mean you got rid of them? That's splendid. Then I can finally get out of here. I do feel a little sorry for them, though. I think they actually tried to help and protect me. And don't think I'm heartless. I will. Because I don't seem to mourn my parents. I do. But somehow the fact that a hundred years has passed reduces my grief. Anyway, I'm off now. Wait, I have a potion for you. Cure narcolepsy. Look, I haven't been suffering from that disease for months. True, I was taking a nap when you arrived, but only because I was bored. But I'll take the potion anyway, in case I should ever feel tired again. Thank you for the pointless plot point. Goodbye, then. Goodbye, and thank you ever so much for getting rid of those ghosts. Keep the house. I don't want to ever live here again, but I wouldn't want it to be abandoned either. If you don't want it, sell it. You probably need the money more than I. Please take this deed to approve. Okay, whatever. There's... Ah, oh, there's one more thing about the house. Holy Fled! Yes. In the cave below the basement, there's a magic mirror. It will teleport you to the Dark World. No, any of the major... Cities and Cinadil, Major's Guild. However, you need a certain magical crystal ball to use the mirror. And this crystal ball is missing. It is not the one in the attic. I am sure that either of my parents or the ghosts have hidden it somewhere. Probably here in the manor. Maybe it's in the attic. If you find it, make sure you carry it when you visit the magic mirror. That should make it work again. And now I bid you farewell. I may be old, but I still feel like a young woman. I have a life to live. Let me... Okay, get, get the... Lit out. Get out of my house! Get out! Ah. She's trying to escape, go get her! Oh, that's a shame. She got away. Okay, so this is our place now. Let's go to the attic and get that crystal ball. No. I wonder if the, the, the crystal ball in the attic is some, like, screwy one. Heck was that? Someone opened the door. Are they chasing her? I think they're chasing her. Let's go watch an amusement. They are. No. No, 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 no. They just want some fresh air. Okay, they got their fresh air. The ghosts are back in the manor. There were, four, there were four as well. I thought there were only three, but whatever. What? Oh, you're open. Display case. Don't do that. You'll clip through the curtain there. Okay, so let's take a look. Actually, I'm curious about that attic. I wonder if that crystal ball in the attic is some kind of... Ah. Uh, like evil crystal ball. Now we've got some 
lovely things out here that would be much more lovely if it wasn't freaking raining in Rain's hand. Alright, let's check the upstairs area. Maybe. Okay. Alright. Kind of weird. Sewing kit. Okay. Oh, we can actually, like, make a new outfit, huh? I want to make a new outfit. I don't have enough of those. You can all stare at me blankly now. Hey, look. It's a bunch of stuff. Unenchanted crystal ball. I'm, I'm assuming we need to find an enchanted crystal ball. Alchemy stuff that I probably won't use. Probably tell this story every time I run into alchemy stuff, but I tried alchemy in the 360 version, and uh, I don't point for it. Hey, look. Oh. Really? Nah? Huh? Okay. Kind of wish I saw that, but yeah, whatever. Okay, let's look for other places here. I know there were some doors down here. Oh, they all. Oh, the uh, secret passage, that's right. The, the not so secret secret passage. Let's go check that out. Man! Got all the wine. Oh, if I cut all this out, if I cut that out last episode, here's like a smithy area. And everything. You can activate this anvil and like. It'll add a repair hammer to you. And do other stuff. And then it'll take it away. And this has like winemakers and stuff. Okay, but right now let's just go ahead and check out that not so secret passage. Fantastic. There's nothing here. Okay, there is. This almost reminds me of the ancient tower's secret area. Oh, I never made that video. Oh, well. Maybe if I remember after this. Hey, there's magic up, up here. Let's blindly walk into it. Ah! Oh, oh. It's actually... Oh, okay. <laughs> that, that works, too. You can only use the magic mirror if you carry the magic crystal ball. Shut up! Oh, what the... What is this? Weird. Why is this here? I don't know, whatever. Okay, that is the magic mirror then. It will take us to the dark world. I better stop that. People who weren't paying attention will actually take that seriously. Alright. So, we gotta get to that dark world. Oh. Well, this looks like it should be something. Let us find out. Oh, we can't really tell in here. We'll find that crystal ball. Or my name isn't Crystal Ball Hunting McGee! You know, there's like an indent here. Seems like there would be something here. Maybe we have to find a switch! Maybe it's right here. Well, that's anticlimactic, but whatever. Ah, uh, he looks something. Let's walk through it. Oh, oh this is still, why is this walk through? Like, whatever. Where do you wish the magic mirror to take you? Frost Crag's not an option, so I guess we're not going anywhere. Let's check out the rest of the manor. More like nature stuff. Nature stuff is cool. Kind of a neat little small mod. Beer. 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 Chicken. All right. So that's the wine cellar, I'm guessing. And here's the ghost room or something. It's got ghosts. 
This isn't a tomato plant. Yeah, I know it's pointing at that. Okay. See what's in these drawers. Hey, there's food. Maybe it replenishes. I'm freaking hungry. No, I'm not. I had... Whatever. Let's bake some standard bread. Oh, we need flour. Let's make a cup of coffee. My coffee is ready. What do I freaking do with it? Oh, hey. I actually get a cup of coffee. It's freaking awesome. I want a cup of coffee. Where is it? It's in a potion. What's it look like? It's a cup of coffee that I just spilled. There's nothing in this cup of coffee. Look at that. No cup of coffee. Cup of crap. Alright. I'm sorry, cup of coffee. Come on. Come on, we'll go have fun adventures together. Nope, nope, you're getting in there. Okay. Cup of coffee denied. Denied! Didn't denied! I do like this little uh, bedroom thing. I think I'm spoiled because this doesn't seem like a, an overly large manor to me. You know, it's got. It's got two. Well, it's got three floors, rather, but. I mean, two floors in a basement, if you really want to count it like that. I don't, but... None of this is anythingable. Roses! Why the crap would these be here? I don't know. Go clip through the wall. Okay, no. I like this chest set, though. Unfortunately, you don't seem to be able to do anything with it, actually. But, it looks like some team is about to lose. Can you guess which team? You can't? Alright then, I didn't think so. Now then, let's pick up these roses and walk around. Check out the spindle and whatever else. Spinning wheel. He wool to make yarn. Well, that's fantastic. I'm sure all of this is very fun, but I don't feel like doing any of it right now. Check out this altar. Oh, okay. I'm a wicked one, which doesn't surprise me. Uh, yeah, 160, yeah, okay, that makes sense. I have a bounty? No, I don't. Somehow, I don't know. Fantastic. Ah, okay. So, yeah, this is a neat little mod. I guess overall, you know, the custom stuff is pretty presentable. It kind of, it really flows well in what I'm looking for. Uh, it adapts well. No, no, no. Well, it goes well with all the regular vanilla stuff. This this thing's freaking awesome. I could probably stare at this for five seconds. Okay, no. Only lasted about three. No. It's cool. I like it. I like all this alchemy stuff as well. There seems to be a lot of really neat custom alchemy things. I know the person used a resource uh, pack, I think, to build this mod, but it still looks kind of nice. It looks like you can do just a bunch of stuff with this. I wouldn't guess that you can make much more than vanilla clothes, but, you know, all the same. That's kind of neat that you can do it anyway. That kind of adds some backstory to the character, too. Like, there's actually legitimate evidence that she was, like, sewing and stuff. Screw you, then! Rose of crap! Fine, Red Rose. I'm going to White Rose Manor. Oh, man. History reference. Holy crap. No, it's my favorite war. But anyway, oh, man, they're infesting. No, they're not. Yeah, really short mod. But well, that's good, because now we've knocked one out of the way. I like the ghosts. Too bad you can't, like, do anything with them. I'm almost certain they're supposed to attack you, but... There's no reason for me to put that code in just for, like, four ghosts. Watering can, what do you do? Oh, you let me put the fire out or something. Do you? Yeah, I guess. Although it's not really out, is it? That's kind of wonky. Wonk. Wonk of crap. All right, no. See, overall, it's kind of nice. Um, surprisingly, this is actually pretty good. Like, it's really, it's really short, and it doesn't seem like there's enough to do. But it has something unique, and that you can start making clothes and. You can even make all the all these foods and everything. 
Wow, I've really, I've really spent 15 minutes on this? Alright then, 15 minutes of crap! There's nothing to hit, okay. Wait, is there a clock in here? Oh, I can hit the sundial! Yeah! See, it always works out for Team UDF. Yeah. Okay, no. See, I didn't, I didn't get a good look at the outside design here. Let's take a look at this. It doesn't look that bad, actually. I like it. It kind of has that regular fortress feel to it, but it's built pretty well. Glitchy! No, it's not glitchy. Stop it. Okay. And now I'm suddenly up here because I'm cool like that. Now, though. So I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Overall, I'm actually going to go ahead and give this a, um... You know, it had more than I expected from it. So I'm actually going to give it an 8.5 out of 10. I do like everything that's set up here. My only real gripe with it... No, you know what? I'm giving this a 9 out of 10. No, I don't have any gripes with it. 9 out of 10. <laughs> Might be a bit short, although I can't, I can't figure out... Oh! Like, the only reason I'm taking a point off is I don't get things like why you're able to walk through the mirror and stuff like that, but... And why the secret passage isn't really all that much of a secret. But you know what? No, no. 9 out of 10. I like it. It's a nice little cozy home. Obviously, you can... You got room for your companions up there and stuff. You don't get any companions, and... It's kind of weird the way the plot just kind of ends, but it's not meant to be a story mod anyway, so... I'd go ahead and accept that. So, thanks everybody for watching. If you enjoy this mod, go pick it up. If not, die. Ah, nah, I'm just kidding. Or am I? Yeah, I am. Let's see if this thing works, though, first of all. Maybe I shouldn't have given it a 9 out of 10 so quickly. Oh, oh, see? It, it broke. No, it didn't. Yep, I'm here in Skin Grand. Skin Grand. Major Skill. Actually, that's where we started. But in any case. So, thanks to everybody for watching. It was Red Rose Manor. And I'm going to go off and do something else. I don't know what. Maybe I'll stare at the scenery for a bit. And then I'll find something else to do and hopefully act less crazy, direct, and stan. Okay, maybe I wasn't acting stan, but I like that word stan. Yeah, I'm a ninja samurai cowboy. I should make a thing for that. Oh, if only I had some kind of eye patch and some neat shadow ninja clothes or something. I could have done something with that. But you can't have everything. So thanks to everybody for watching, and I will see you next time for another Oblivion mod review on Team UDF Gaming. Insert other messages here.